What's poppin' YouTube world? Lukezilla here, hope y'all been doing well. I know I have. Here I am, back on iCraft. So guys, today I have something amazing in store for you guys. I've been wanting to start this project for the longest time. You'll see that the title of this video is Mount Zilla. What on earth do you think that means, guys? What does it mean? You tell me. Okay, actually, I'll tell you. Look up at that. All right, so let, let me show you something real quick. So here's where our portal is. You hop out of our portal, go into our base. You know, you're looking around. You look up, and bam, there's just this giant mountain here, and I made a cube on top of it. That was the big project. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a... No, I'm just kidding. So uh, there's a reason that cube is there, and... I'll tell you why whenever uh, we actually get around to start working on that, but before I do that, I just kind of want to uh, show you a few things. All right, so uh, the last episode was my 50th episode special, and oh, I know you heard that. <laughs> the last episode was my 50th episode special where I went around the server, showed off everyone's bases. I had a lot of fun doing it, but now it's time to uh, get back to Luke Zilland and do some awesome things. All right, so... Um, I moved that uh that temporary wheat farm. Now it's up here. I made just like this this big old wheat field. So anytime I need some wheat, I just come up here, I harvest, and then I feed my stuff. Alright, so down here I uh I populate the cows some more and populate my sheep some more. Actually I don't know if I populate them more, but I dyed them different colors. Um I just kinda dye them to whatever colors I need them at the time. And I also have my horse in there. My um, my beautiful Chester the Unicorn. Yes, Chester's in there. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> sorry, I had to cough. Clear my throat. Anyway, so, I have a bunch of blocks on me. Ch take a look at that. Because I'm ready to start this project. I'd like to sleep to make a day, but I kind of can't because uh, uh, Galash and Will are online. But, you know, that's... That's all right. I don't need to sleep. This might be fun to do at night, but I kind of doubt it. All right, so I'll take you along this way, and I'll show you what's going on. So right here, there's this... <clears throat> Gosh, i got to clear my throat a lot. Right here, there is this waterfall, which is going to be a pain in the bootay to get up because water and Minecraft and stuff. But we'll do what we can. So I'm floating. I'm still floating. But, as you can see, once the water stops, there's a ladder that will bring us up to the top of the mountain. And, oh yeah, this mountain. This is called Mount Zilla. That's, that's why. Oh. There's a very loud vehicle passing my house. I think it's a motorcycle. Alright, let's climb. Oh, there's a creeper right there. Hey man, goodbye. Oh, never mind. Oh, or explode. Uh, that was not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> I was just trying to climb this mountain, mind my own business, and he goes and blows up. All right, let's just... Um, if I put that there, that, that that's natural enough. All right, that, that's good. How am I supposed to get up? It blew up my freaking ladders. Uh, give me one ladder back. Hey, thanks. Thanks, man. Uh, Well... Hmm, and go like that, place that there, hop up, and place another one right there, then climb up. Alright, problem solved. Man, there is so many loud vehicles passing my house right now. Stupid little jerks. They purposely did that. They're like, haha, now he's recording, now I'll start making noise. But, um, alright, so here is the summit of Mount Zilla. Look at that view of our base, you can't even see the sheep. That's good. They make too much noise, and they're a lot, and they're really, really stinky. All right. One thing I want to say, I guess uh, my forest got struck by lightning or something, because there's a bunch of like uh, deforestation going on, and I never uh, it. It's like the leaves are gone, but the wood is still there. Well, some of the wood, and you you see how it's emitting light. Well, there are no torches. There's no fire. There's no exposed lava. It's like, but. From here all the way up to there, and there's like a swamp land back there. It's all just like missing leaves on the trees. I think it got struck by lightning or something, and started a forest fire and all burned down. So sometime I'm going to need to go through there 
and uh, reforest the place. All right, but as you can see right here, it's a giant cube. It's 16 by 16 by 16. It's a, uh, oh my gosh, these freaking vehicles passed my house. I need to stop. <laughs> Uh, I'll get over it. So what I want to do with all of these blocks, and it's snowing now, with all of these blocks that I have on me, I'm going to make something really, really awesome. So let, let's let just uh, take a second to, let me throw that on the ground. I just want to look you guys in the face. You see this face? I'm going to make this face. I'm going to make this face. And I'm going to use these blocks to make it. What I want to do, Mount Zilla, it's going to look like a giant statue of Luke Zilla carved into a mountain. So I'm going to use all stone type materials. And you're just going to have to see how it looks. And I think you're going to like it because because I said so. <laughs> well, anyway, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to do a sexy ass time lapse for this. Uh, using my, my camera account, LukeZilla underscore, you guys uh, got quite acquainted with him in the last episode, and he's going to be back this episode. So anyway, uh, if you like it, make sure to drop a like. I'm going to get on with this time lapse, and I'll probably cut back in the end and be all like, yo guys, look at this thing, it's awesome! Every time, every time, every time you hear, listen. I whisper in your ear, listen to me, I'll be right there. In a flash, I'll come prepared. Right there, I'm ready for you. Jeep and creep, three time, Beetlejuice, don't be scared. I'm here for you, watch me do it, I'll dance for you. Run the world, I'll run my rhyme. I sit here and watch, but don't tell time. The hands that I have don't tick back and forth. They pick up a pen and write new words. Pick up a mic, spit what I wrote. When I'm done with that, I'll write some more. And I'll rap some more, and dance some more. The best of the best in the tie like a bow Every time you hear this song, song, song Dance for me, dance all night long Dance for me, dance all night long Dance for me, won't take too long Every time you hear this song, song, song Dance for me, dance all night long Dance for me, dance all night long Dance for me, dance to my song If you hear what I'm saying, then you know what it is I'm the biggest boss, second into this biz Miss, you can't get where I am Feel free to try, you hit a wall like bam But a second straight, I'm here for good Airblade kissing up the ground that I stood, you know Cause it just turned to gold Coming in with the new, out with the old But I picked up the scraps Learned some new tricks, made some new raps To show the world, this is what I'm made of These are my true colors, no need for makeup I didn't make it up, then I'm headed to the top Keep going and going, if I stop then I drop If I drop then I fall, making everyone appall Till death, I'm a ball. Every time you hear this, song, song, song. Dance for me, dance all night long. Dance for me, dance all night long. Dance for me, won't take too long. Every time you hear this, song, song, song. Dance for me, dance all night long. Dance for me, dance all night long. Dance for me, dance to my song. Don't you wanna dance? Cause I wanna dance. Dance with me. We could start a romance, romance with me. Maybe after this night, we could run away together and start a new life this time. Let's do it right, if you meet a new girl, just say hi, write her a song, it'll last forever, sing it every day so you always remember, don't care about the new song, I just want the good song, play so loud, surprise, I still have an e-drum, wait, what, did you say something, cause I heard not, <laughs> I'm crazy girl, but I'm dancing my way to a crazy world, dance with me, or just dance for me, not a robot, but I'm transforming, every time you hear this, song, 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 dance for me, Dance all night long, dance for me, dance all night long, dance for me, won't take too long. Every time you hear this, song, 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 dance for me, dance all night long, dance for me, dance all night long, dance for me, dance to my song. Dance all night, dance all day, dance for me. I do say this dancing thing is quite okay, alright, ask me, I'll say hooray. First things first, let's dance, prepare the crates, like a party in France. Dance, 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 all I gotta say, I wanna see you dance, night and day, need music make music that's what i do i create music every day thinking about reporting to you live from the inside of my head no i'm just kidding what's up guys all right so how'd you like that little time lapse of me building this uh monument to myself haha <laughs> this is well where i am right now would be the inside of the head of mount zilla so yeah, this thing is, uh, it's pretty big, <laughs> pretty, pretty friggin' big, so, um, I want to, uh, show you guys a look at it from the ground, so, the best way to do that would be, 
uh, to chuck an ender pearl because I'm not going to jump off of this because I'll surely die. Yeah, look how far away the ground is. <laughs> All right, so here's what it looks like from over here. It's um, I really like it. All right, let me just uh, get up to my house. Yeah, so you can see it. There's my headphone there. There's the rest of my head. If I had Optifine, I could zoom. That'd be pretty cool. But um, there are a few uh, minor changes that I did to it since I stopped uh, the time lapse. One one of which is um, with the uh, the dirt areas, and you can barely barely see it. Well, I can barely see it, so that means you guys probably can't see it. Um, where the dirt was below my uh, the line for my bandana, I put in uh, a few pieces of coarse dirt just to. Uh, break it up a little bit as well as the uh, the cracked stone that I have for the headphones I also put in um, some regular stone bricks as well as some chiseled stone bricks just to uh, add a little bit of variation in the blocks so yeah so that's what we have there and if you guys think that we're finished we're not because that's just the head and uh, what else I'm gonna need to do is add in uh, two arms and Maybe a few pieces of a torso. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to plan ahead a little bit. But I know the fact that I do want uh, to put some arms in there too. And I'm going to kind of be striking a pose. I'm going to look kind of like... Ugh! No, not like that. Like, Ugh! I wish I could bend my arms. I can't I can't bend my arms. But uh, Mount Zilla will be able to bend his arms or my arms or its arms. Whatever. What, whatever. But, um... Before we start doing that, I'm going to uh, um, change direction in this video, and I want to show you something. I know you uh, you heard it earlier, but I'm going to actually show it off to you now. So if we go into my, my game room, uh, you'll see something that wasn't there before, and you'll also hear a lot of noise. So this is a bunch of doors, and these are a bunch of villagers. So... Um, one day I was just playing on the server, there was a, uh, a zombie villager wandering around, so I was like, hmm, I wonder if he can pick up any items, so I threw him a torch, he picked it up, so I was like, alright, follow me, so I brought him up here, and I put him in here, and then I cured him, turned into a, a villager, and then I was like, well, he needs some friends, so I got a few more, I'm like, uh, you guys like doors, right, so I put in a million freaking doors, now they're breeding like crazy, there are, uh, quite a bit of them in here, they all kind of like to gather up in the, the corners, so, like, if I open, come on now, if I open this up, no, that one up, there's, like, a bunch of them right here in this little spot, and, yeah, they're just, they're kind of all over the place in here, they're just kind of hanging out, having a good time, uh, you know how it is when you're a villager, you just kind of, uh, like to have fun, yeah, but it, uh, it's got enough to, um, spawn iron golems naturally, so, uh, what I do is I kind of come up here and I kill them and I've been collecting their iron and stuff like that. <laughs> and then they just respawn. Yeah, so... Um, I don't really have a use for them yet, but kind of what I want to do, what I think would be really, really cool is if inside of the head of Mount Zilla, what if I made an iron farm? Like one of those simple ones, kind of like... One that, like, Zave has, or Dean, or whoever has. Just one of those ones that have, like, the villager cells, and it spawns golems. What if, like, I have it up in the head, and then the iron golems drop drop down, and, like, appear um, down here, and I can just collect the loot? Wouldn't that be awesome? I think so. So, I'm going to try to work that out. Obviously, it's going to be a off-camera thing, considering I need to, uh, you know, plan this stuff, and and all that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. But that'll be like an off-camera project or something. But uh, right now, what I think needs to be done... Hmm. I need to put the arms on this sucker, And I'm not going to make another time lapse. So what I'm going to do is one of those, uh, those Beaver Man fade things. So uh, let's find a point in this mountain to look at. I want to look at... Hmm, how about... Actually, I'm going to need to stop for it to stop raining for that. Ugh, gross. So, uh, ooh, let's find something else to do. Oh, what is that lag? Oh, hello. Oh, mama. All right, so it, it seems as though I'm getting a, 
uh, minor cases of like lag spikes. My computer's been acting up lately. It's been doing that to me. Um, you know, what? screw it. I'm just gonna do a Beaverman fade. Whenever I hop back, uh, hopefully it won't be raining anymore. I'm gonna look right there. I'm gonna F1. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Bam. Oh my. Freaking gosh, that was a lot of work, but it was well worth it. So, it may be hard to see from this angle, because I got a freaking elbow in my face, and a zo uh, zombie knocking at my door. Oh, you're actually a zombie villager. Uh, you're trying to visit your friends. Too bad. Haha. <laughs> Bye. Uh, so, let me uh, show you this just from a couple of different angles. And I just want to say... Oh my god, I love how this turned out. It was so worth putting all the work into it. Alright, so there's my head as you see. I got headphones on. Uh, there's my arm. It's uh, it's at an angle like I'm uh, kind of like I'm flexing my arm, but I'm not. It's just kind of like a, I don't know, I'm striking a pose. Like one arm is, uh, you know, bent at the elbow like that, but then the arm on the other side is... Um, it goes at an upward angle, but it's not like bent at the elbow or anything. So let's uh, hop into this root forest. Hopefully land on top of a tree. Yes, of course I did. All right, so here's it from down here. Man, this is a kind of a derpy angle to look at. Let me, uh, I don't have any blocks, but I'd like to get higher to look at this. Um, here, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hop onto my camera account and give you a little fly around look at it. All right, guys, so here I am now on my camera account so that you guys can get a better glimpse at this. So let's first take a quick look at the face. So you'll see I use different blocks just to represent different things. I use dirt for my hair and, like, grass to cover it, and I planted the grass kind of kind of like it's been there for a while. And then, you, as you can see, uh, down towards the bottom, there's coarse dirt, like it kind of... Like, the dirt kind of, like, thickened up and and all that just because, like, the pressure that's endured. And then for my little, uh, my aftershave thing that I got going on, I use andesite, cobble for my mouth. And, uh, the, the main part that probably stands out about this is my bandana that, or my headband or my mask or whatever that goes around my face. Uh, that probably stands out the most, but I kind of like that. And then, you know, I got my, my headphones on my head, uh, on each side, and then... Uh, my arms are different, as you can see, obviously, because, like, on my skin, my arms are different. So this one, uh, I use uh, primarily mossy stone bricks to represent my sleeve, and then I bordered it with this, uh, the uh, chiseled stone bricks. As you can see, it goes all the way around to the bottom. So I did that, and then for, like, my skin, I use primarily stone, but I also threw an andesite, both polished and non-polished. Uh, on the tip of my hand, which you can't really see, um, on my Minecraft skin, which I'll have to show you uh, whenever I switch back onto that account, uh, on my hand, I actually do have, like, the same symbol that I have on my headphones, and it's repeated on my hand. So, you know, I did that on the edge of my hand. And then uh, this arm, this is my, uh, my Zilla arm, so that's why it's more green. So it uses... Um, mossy stone brick, cracked stone brick, and uh, mossy cobblestone. So that is a good representation of my Zilla arm. And then um, what I did with the uh, the mountain itself, I extended uh, whatever, like wherever the mountain was, I just extended it upwards to um, meet up with like, where my head was, so that it looks like, you know, my body was partially carved into the mountain, too. Um, in the front, I did actually throw in some, some andesite, but on the back, I did not. That's because the back, it's already primarily, you know, nothing but stone, so I didn't feel like it needed anything else, but since this has a lot of dirt and stuff, I kind of wanted it to look like, uh, this was man-made, or, like, man-carved, so that's why I threw in some of those, and yeah, overall, I like how it turned out, so... Uh, now that I'm done flying around this, I'll switch back onto my main account. I hope you guys like that little uh, fly around. I think it gave you guys a pretty good look at it. Now, uh, something else I can actually do. I left in the the uh, the way to get up to the inside. Well, man, Will keeps leaving and coming back and leaving and coming back. He can't make up his mind. <laughs> so, uh... The way up there, there's this water stream here. Then wherever the water stream ends, it uh, it has a ladder. 
I don't know if I, sh- I already showed this off. It's been quite a while since, uh, um, since I did like that little fade transition thing where I switched from my, or be- before the arms were done. Like between that and now, it's been quite a long time. So here's the inside. I have a bunch of vines planted because that's what I was using to uh, make like the mossy stuff. Then I actually do have little pathways, and I forgot to bring torches, but I was going to bring torches to light up the insides of my arms. I kind of want to clear out all these extra blocks just so it's like easier to walk through. I, uh, I'll do that off camera sometime. Um, and then also, uh, this is the other arm that you can come on inside of, and yeah, so... This thing is all hollow. You can come inside. Inside here, I did decide I am going to make an iron farm, but I'll do that off camera just because it's going to take a while to cart my villagers up here. Um, I'm not going to like pick and choose which ones because I don't really have any that are worthwhile to keep anyway. So, yeah, that that won't really matter. Let me show you something really cool to, or really uh, fun. So, I think this will be the best way to end off this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is for you. Have a great one, and I will catch you next time. See you guys. Ooh. See you guys. Ah!